Is it hot enough? Aye, it's hot. Just get through it. Try and get some sleep. Try and get some sleep. Just, just wait. Just let me write that gem of inspiration down, just in case I forget. You know. Just try and get some. What was the last wee bit again, Doctor? I'll be better in the morning. I promise. Morning. The morning. The morning is light years away from where my ass is currently parked. <laughs> All right, but you lying there with your full set of discs and your healthy sheen of animal fatness. <laughs> a different bloody story if you had a back like a Bosnian battlefront. You wouldn't be so bloody chumpy then, lady, would you? Would you, eh? <sighs> there are times in the great war of life where I think all optimists should be taken out and shot as killers. <laughs> Just get through it, she says. I don't have any bloody choice. Painkillers, eh? <laughs> Smart bastards. You'd wonder how they actually find the pain, though, wouldn't you? <laughs> I, mean, it's not, it's not as if they come with a street guide, am I? You know, straight up Kidney Street, doing Spleen Avenue until you get to a roundabout. But it's not actually a roundabout. It's more like a quarter lager and a half-eaten fish supper kind of stuff. You know? <laughs> actually, maybe, maybe that's why it, it takes so long to find the pain. Maybe that's why it takes them so long to work. See what I mean? See if I, see if I was a painkiller, actually. I'd just go straight to the nap, straight to the heat. Because if he was scum, he's bound to have a hangover, isn't he? <laughs> Jeez, it's going to be a long night, I'll tell you that. Oh! Oh! <coughs> you dirty, twisted, barstow, and swine, no mercy, pain, pass of pain in the arse at you. <laughs> Fight it. I am going to fight it. It is not going to beat me. It's not going to beat me. Last will and testament of Rabsinus. <laughs> to my darling DSS, I leave my wife and two sons. <laughs> my son Bernie, I leave my bad attitude. To my wife, Mary. What am I going to leave, Mary? My wife, Mary. Look at the face that lunched a thousand chips. <laughs> See if it was within my power, I would give that woman everything, everything. Gas bill, electric bill, provident bill. <laughs> Serve a bitch right, eh? Mind you. We haven't half been through some stuff together, her and I. Look at her. All she ever wanted was to get married and be happy. I suppose one out of two is no bad for one of you. God alone knows why she chose me, I tell you. I mean, I know she's a hound now, but in a day, she could have had a pick, had a pick. That's it. Yeah. Do it. Do it for me. Come on, sweetheart. Watch this, watch this. Is it all right for you, doll? Mm. Perfect. Just how I like it, Gary. <laughs> I'm actually going to have to get the dream divorce lawyers on it. Gary, just how I like it. There's one thing about Nirvana, Gary. Every day is a fine washing day. <laughs> Come, let us move amongst the drones. 
One sees from one's coupon, Gary, that you assume that one's arse was born to this bed of roses. Not so. Toblerone? Well, it might surprise you to learn that one is actually shite from Keek Street. <laughs> Fortunately, one had a dirty big one in the midweek lottery. Personal trainers? Do these come with a big sign that says, don't laugh, I'm being ironic? I'll get them to buggery out of my sack then. It's hard to be tongue-in-cheek when one's a dimpy tiger. <laughs> oh, you did, here. You tell me it's your fantasy. What do you mean, fantasy? Who's that way, ye? You? Use your loaf. It's a dream, isn't it? It's bound to be symbolic. Oh, stop it with all the dream stuff. It isn't a dream. What's your name, Hen? She's me. She wants me to go back with her. No, no, I want to stay here. I don't want to come back. No, no, don't make me come back. I don't want to come back. No, no. Oh, bugger it. I'm back. <laughs> Wait, we're next. Acapulco. <laughs> Yes, son. What do you want? Not you for a start, so you can relax. I'm looking for my boy. Take it, he's no here. Gash? No, I'd have noticed Diggy's very good head. I don't blame him. At least when he's doing there, he doesn't have to look at your face, does he? Where is he, Will? I don't know. Have you tried the west wing of the house or the conservatory? I'll check the bins. Gosh! 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 It's a queer thing tonight, isn't it? Makes you, makes you kind of want to rip off all your clays and run through the gardens bulk naked and finish the whole thing off with a right good ham shank, doesn't it? <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> no? <laughs> Just me then, eh? Gosh! Hey, clubs are open there. It's going my work. Yeah. I couldn't sleep, no. So I thought I'd dip her up Sonnet Street, but her man came back early after rigs. Are you lucky? Yeah, I wouldn't say that. If he'd been a better shot, my boss would have been sprayed all the river parts. <laughs> See you. Uh, Rob. Phone, Rob. Hey, I hear it. I hear it. Well, we're never saying the body Amazon. Answer it yourself, you big slumber midden that you are. <laughs> Hello. Ella. What is it? I'm sorry for ringing so late, Mary. I didn't get you out of bed, did I? No, you got me out of coma. <laughs> What's wrong? Look, I can't sleep, Mary. It's TBC. That bastard caught her. Correct. <laughs> He's looking the dip again. Mary, I'm bitterly unhappy. Yeah, well, you were bitterly unhappy yesterday. You're going to be bitterly unhappy tomorrow. Can you know, just keep it on hold for another six hours? Then we can wallow in it over a bottle of Thunderbird. I <laughs> just want to shot him. I don't think me heartless, but... But do you know anything about quicklime? <laughs> Ella. Are you phoning me for a sun-kissed beach in the Pacific coast? No. Well, we've obviously got a cross planet. Cheerio. Cheerio. That bastard caught her. 
He's out in the dip. <laughs> Just one shot him. Shot him. Shot him. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Run it. Open the door. The door is not getting opened until you can prove who you are. Here. What is it? My outpatient's card for the VD clinic. <laughs> All right, now. I was just passing in a window. I'm, I'm right. There you go. Thanks, Rob. You have no idea how much I appreciate this. I have been the victim of a cruel and heartless twist of fate. I see. Who are you dipping? Rab, it's got nothing to do with sex. Get her up Sonnet Street. Aye. How did you know that? A man standing outside your door and with a shotgun. <laughs> you bastard. So he hasn't enough trouble with it, you adding to his bloody misery. Oh, I see. Just cos I dip a guy's wife, suddenly it's all my fault. <laughs> dip my wife and all. And don't you think I forgot it? You don't know the meaning of the word compassion, do you? Don't you realise I am suffering from a complex modern malady? Aye, but a clinic gives you a cream for it. <laughs> I don't want to alienate you with medical jargon. But there's a name for people who are addicted to sex. Of the bastards. <laughs> Doctors call it studism. And I have to face up to the fact that I am a stud. <laughs> there, I've said it. Oh, I me too. I've, I've actually got handsomeness. It's a swine, but I mean, you just want to cope with it, you know. <laughs> I mean, don't talk shite, you pathetic, <laughs> self deluded swine, you are. Trust me, Rab. I have consulted with some of the finest medical minds the Sunday papers have to offer. <laughs> and they all say the same thing. Have a bath. <laughs> it's psychological. Rab, I, I don't want to touch on painful memories, but mind your own time I dipped your Mary. What about it? Well, I'm poor. By the way, I was not in top form that night. <laughs> no, although she begged me for me, I said, no! You're no... <laughs> what about it? Well, yeah. well, psychologically speaking, I wasn't dipping Mary. I was dipping you. <laughs> you were me. Isaac, like, like, don't say any more. I'm getting pictures here. I'm getting pictures here. You know why? No. Why? Because I envy you. You know the fulfilling joy of fatherhood, whereas I, I have to settle for meaningless, rampant sex. <laughs> It can't be easy. <laughs> it's been easy and that is why the next time you hear about me being out in the dip, you can put people straight. You can tell them, don't think bad about Jamesy. It's not his fault. He's doing it for me. <laughs> sure. Thank you, my friend. And I am proud to call you friend. You see what I'm driving at, don't you, Rab? Yes, James. Good. So I can go out and tell that bam pot with a shotgun, it wasn't me that dipped his wife, it was you. <laughs> no, James. I'll make your bed up in the city. What a shot. Excuse me. Excuse me, can you hear me? What are you doing here? <laughs> I 
cannot speak, and I am mutt and Jeff. <laughs> mutt and Jeff? Oh, deaf. But why do you write in rhyme and slang? <laughs> also, I am Cockney. <laughs> knees up, knees up. Don't get the breeze up. <laughs> uh -huh, very good. <laughs> Listen, I think I know the answer to this, but why are you here? I'm here to murder your husband. <laughs> Aye, fair enough. But do you fancy a wee cup of tea and a biscuit while you're waiting? Is there something the matter? <laughs> it's a pain, David. It's a pain. It just keeps going and going and going. It just never stops, Jim. It's, it's, it's just in my brain. I'm... I know what you mean. I'm the same with my studism. Sometimes I, I look at starving African guys or cancer victims on the telly. And you know what? I envy them. Right, without going into the gory details, just what is your problem? Well, it's, it's, my, it's my bag. It's, it's a nagging stop. and... and, and stop, stop! You're making me sick. <laughs> is there nothing you can take for it? Oh, I'll take it in your bloody well light. Just, sometimes it just doesn't work, you know. Sometimes you, sometimes you can actually trick it. What am I talking? You can trick it. Trick it? Hi, you know, body swell, get the hips way. Think of something that is bigger than the pain. Like what? Oh, I don't know any you like. The origins of the universe, that's usually good for a blank half hour. I've got nothing to say about the universe. It minds its business, I mind mine. Well, what do you think? You ain't life in other planets. What do you care? Me snakes are not even life in my living room. <laughs> Ah, but it's all right talking about things like having your boys, but beyond a certain age, it just gets, you know, poofy. <laughs> poofy? <laughs> We're only talking about man's origin in the cosmos here, but I'm not, well, I'm not trying to stick my horn down your trousers, am I? Well, I'm glad that you did stick your horn down my trousers and, and interfere with my mind. I mean, you see on the telly, what about, what about Mars? Oh, don't Mars me, I saw the photos. A lump of rock in a frozen wasteland. It was like lags without the ice cream vans. <laughs> you know your trouble, Cotter. You are just too fierce to think. Do you blame me? What's your point of having a brain ruin here? It's like having the only dick in a donut factory. I'm awake. Bring <laughs> <up. laughs> like in your friend, plus you that bathroom cabinet in your road back. Is it your back? No, I'm going to get a knitting needle and pierce both my earlobes and use them as drop ear and kick. <laughs> 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 Oh, guns are breathtaking things, aren't they? Mind that huge big magnum Clint Eastwood had in Dirty Harry? For a long time, I thought of that as the child I'd never had. Of course, I was on medication at the time. <laughs> More tea? 
she causing you a lot of misery in your life? How much misery on a scale of ten? <laughs> there, there. <laughs> Keep your voice down. <laughs> if it's any consolation, I too know the pain of love gone shitey. <laughs> Many years ago, I had a previous love. He adored me. So naturally, I get bored and chucked him at the time. He swore he'd kill himself if I left. But a week later, I sees the lying bastard walking around Safeway quite the thing. Fair enough. His wrists were bandaged, but it just goes to show you. You can't trust people, can you? I don't quite know why I told you that. I suppose I wanted you to know that I'd actually won a love match, just in case you thought it was easy. <laughs> Once we've shagged. <laughs> Is that you back, Gash? Yes, I'm. <laughs> yes, that's me home from my neurosis class, pet. Time for a wee cuddle, eh? I'm going to call the police. Just wait a minute, just wait a minute. Just hear him out first, hear him out. Please don't call the police. It wasn't my fault. Who else's fault could it have been? Rabs. Phone the police. <laughs> you stop it. You interfered with my mind. You abused me, so I abused her. And a terrible pattern was struck up that was passed on down the generations. That's the way it is with us victims. Call child line hen. Give him both her names. There are no prisoners taken when you are fighting for your skin, boy. Especially when it says foreskin. <laughs> oh, come on, come on. Now, why, is it, why is the point of telling Gash? I mean, there's, there's no harm been done. Just get Br'er Rabbit to apologise to him and forget about the whole thing. What, just like that? Does he not realise he's a pathetic old jerk that no woman under 50 would take into her bed except for a bet or to test out her collar a jab? Well, that's actually a very fair point, but... Well, you must admit, he does quite well with a fat bird. Don't, don't start me. <laughs> Oi, I'm sorry. If it is a crime to love women too much, then Jamesy Cotter apologises. Love women? You assaulted me. Oh, well, if you're going to split hairs... Look, son, man, What happened to your heat? We accident at work. I was expanding my consciousness, must have overdone it. The next thing you know, my brain burst out my napa. <laughs> Can't my way out of the street. But I so busy. How about yourselves? Oh, I it was quiet. I set for your bobber and Ada. Hey, it's a queer thing, that. You wouldn't think a spineless bastard could get a bad back. <laughs> hey, what are you doing here? Borrowing a cup of penicillin? <laughs> <laughs> it's very amusing, kind of. No, I had a small dispute with a guy over personal boundaries. As a result, he's outside there wanting to blow my head off with a blunderbuss. Aye, with any luck, he'll start with your boys and work up to your feet. <laughs> Aye, well, he must have got pissed off waiting, cos he's no there now. Oh, by the way, that reminds me, eh, uh, I started a new music festival for people just like you. It's called DT in the Park. <laughs> See the joy you're missing? <laughs> yeah. Well, he needs a hair shirt and you've got a full set. Yeah. I'm going to take a swatch out of that window and see if that twiddle done with the shotguns will be right enough. Uh, I sign. That's the sun coming up. Right, I better get him. Don't want Ella to be worried, you know. <laughs> Here. 
Don't go away, baby. You're a fan. Come on. There you go, Paul. Cheers, Paul. Saved my life. <laughs> Snap. See you, Paul. I see you. St. John's Water was a hell of a cutie all night herbalist. <laughs> oh, no! Wait a minute, pal! Oh, my God, what have you done? No! <laughs> Jimmy! <laughs> I'm all right. Oh, well, come on, come on. I'll, I'll get you an ambulance. I'll get you up the hospital. Oh, I did that. Uh, did, did, did. Hospital, Rob. Back of that. Look. Who's that? Daft bastard went and blew his in. He daft. He's going my way up Sonnet Street. Because his wife will either be cock a hoop or she'll be horrified. But either way. She'll be vulnerable. You know what I'm saying? Excuse <laughs> me. Get up. You can't beat starting the day off with an early morning dip. You know what I'm saying? See <laughs> up. It's the best sleep I've had in years. See, they pills are marvellous. Where is everybody? What a waste. Look, he's a missed the best part of the day. Well, I tell her, I will you. <laughs> <laughs> 